Yes, so. Okay. Happy afternoon. Yes, please. Um, I welcome you all to another Spotlight event this Saturday. Thank you so much for joining in. So lovely to see all of you here. And, uh, and I request all the participants and the other students to keep their videos on so that we can see. And uh, yes, show me a thumbs up if you're ready for today. Show me a thumbs up if you're excited. Okay. Show me a thumbs up if you're prepared. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So let's begin with our first performance today. We have um, we have Karthik with us. Yes, Karthik, show me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you ready to perform? Okay. Just give me one second. Okay. Please start that. A very good, good afternoon to one and all present here. My name is M.M. Karthi. I'm studying in fourth class. Today, I will be giving a short speech on the topic of my favorite sport. My favorite sport is badminton. I love all about it. Initially, it was my father's favorite sport, but it quickly became mine as well. Badminton is, a, is an indoor game that needs a lot of energy and, doesn't, and it is suitable for physical fitness. This game is played and with a lightweight rocket and a shuttlecock and does not need a lot of players to play. It can be played by one or two players in each team. It can, um, badminton is an Asian game, but it is it's only been an a Olympic Olympic sport since 1992. Some of the best badminton players in India are Saina Nehwal, PV Sindhu, etc. These players represent in India in in way in badminton in various tour tournaments around the world. The best part about the game is it can be played by people of all age groups and of the, any gender. Finally, I want to tell you tell to tell any sport bring you joy, fills you with relaxation of mind and gives you exercise sufficient for your body health. Thank you, all. Thank you so much, Karthik. Thank you so much for sharing about your favorite sport with us. I would like to invite Vasudha Ma. Yeah, so Karthik, that was amazing. Wonderful. So happy to see you perform. And uh, I mean, what I really, really like about you is that you're such a, you know, dedicated student in my classes. And uh, the way you like, you know, you have uh, spoken today, it's like amazing. Very good. Keep it up. And I'm sure you will uh, further excel in, you know, uh, speaking you know, in events like this. So keep it up. I would like to do a bird clap for you. One second. Just a minute. Trying to stabilize my device. Yeah. Okay. Can everyone see me? Yes. Um, can everyone please help me out with this because I'm not able to <laughs> stabilize my device. Uh, all children know, I think, to do the bird clap, right? Bird clap, right? Children, you know the bird yes. clap? Can somebody I, just, I can just move one hand because I'm holding my mobile with the other device. All right, a bird clap for you, Karthik. Good job, good job. I would like to see a nice bright smile on your face, Karthik. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, how do you feel? Are you feeling happy? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Very good. Good effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vasudha, ma'am. Um, I would like to, the next student I would like to call on is uh, Rishani. Rishani, can you hear me? Thumbs up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes. Um, okay. 
Okay. Yes, please start. Good afternoon, ma'am, and all my friends. Today I am going to talk about my grandparents. Grandparents are usually the eldest member of a family who take responsibility for the whole family. They take care of the entire family with utmost love and care. It is a blessing if you have your grandparents with you. I'm blessed that my grandparents are my best friend. I can share all my secrets with them without any fear. Grandparents are a gift with, to us which must be valued. Nowadays, we don't realize their true values in our homes. But they are a precious gift that teach us how to respect others and how to live a respectful life ahead in future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rishani, for sharing about your grandparents with us. I would like to invite Ashima, ma'am. Yes, so that was a great performance, Rishani. You have done really well. So I would like to tell everyone, you know, Rishani has resumed her classes after a long break she was, uh, since she was not well. And just after the resumption of classes, I talked to her mother if she would like to participate and she instantly said yes. And she, her mother also told me that she was very nervous before the performance. But, uh, you know, in spite of that, she performed really well today. So I'm so proud of her. Uh, so I would like to do a lollipop clap for you, Rishani. And I would like all the other kids to join in, uh, with me. So we'll go with like a uh, lolly. Everyone say lolly. And pop. Yes, wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Rishani and Ashma, ma'am. Um, I would like to invite Alok. Show me a thumbs up, Alok. Okay, wonderful. Are you ready? Okay, great, great. Uh, don't stand up, please. Uh, sit the way you were sitting before. Yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Okay, please start. Hello, everyone. A, a wonderful day for all of you. My name is Alok Prashad. I study in class 4. Today on this special occasion, I would like to speak some words on my favorite sports, badminton. I love playing badminton and I go for special evening classes to learn and enhance my skills. Badminton is a sport that can be played both indoor and outdoor. It involves the use of rackets and shuttlecock and a net that separate the badminton court into two hours. Uh, and it you it was two two players, two or four players in either side. Badminton, I love playing badminton very much. Uh, badminton is very amazing and lifeful game. India has produced uh, uh, two uh, special badminton players, P.V. Sindhu and Saina Adarwa. They are the two badminton stars. They have won so many medals and prizes, trophies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Alok. Uh, I would like to invite Manindar Ma'am. Good afternoon, everyone. And uh, that was a very nice speech, Alo. Uh, and I think you must correct it is Saina Neheva, right? Uh, Alok, are you hearing me? 
yeah <laughs> so this uh, he prepared actually sign and nehwal only and he read the script to me <laughs> i think he got nervous <laughs> okay so alok you did a great job uh, i am so proud to see you perform here thank you so much thank you thank you so much um now i would like to invite uh, vikrant show me a thumbs up if you're ready vikrant one one okay give me one minute okay. hi my name is vikrant i'm studying fourth standard a section i'm here to talk about my my favorite sports i like football and i will play it with my friends a uh, football is an ancient game played in uh, america and most states i like football because it is a very very energetic game and uh, my friends like it want uh, many players or small players to play uh vikrant if you don't mind can you start again please yes ma'am hi my name is vikrant akshay i am studying hi my name is vikrant akshay i am studying fourth standard a section i like football football is an energetic sport and uh, and a play by me and my friends i like football because it is because it is an ancient game played in a more states uh, i will play football regularly because i like football and i will play many sports uh, badminton shuttlecock and uh, more and more i like to play with my brother and i like and uh, i like to speak thank you thank you Ma'am, thank so you so much, Vikrant. Yes, thank you so much, Vikrant, for sharing with us about your favorite sport and how you enjoy playing it. Thank you. Ma'am. Yes, please, everyone, stay on mute, please. Do not unmute your mics. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I would like to invite Pranil now. Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, Pranil. Uh, are you ready? Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Please start now. Do any of you love a sport so much that you just want to keep on playing? Hi everyone. I am Pranil Bhattacharya and today I am going to tell about my favorite sport, football. Now, you would wonder why football? In this regard, football clearly has the effect of relieving stress and bringing people together as a remedy to help them temporarily forget the worries of daily life the friendships amongst a team of football players are unlike any other sport due to the high volume of teammates i have been playing football since i was 5 My dad was my first coach who taught me the basics of football. I follow and like Cristiano Ronaldo because not only he is one of the fittest players in the world also because of his kindness. He donated all the money to the schools of Giza after winning the FIFA best in 2017. he his hard work shows on pitch and he is also a great leader when it comes to motivate its team portugal wasn't a very good team as compared to its counterpart when ronaldo was not in the team but after he came portugal won the uefa european league and the nations league with one of the most strong teams france and netherlands i hope that all of you have one such sport that you love dearly thank you thank you so much pranil i would like to invite uh, samrita ma'am uh hi pranil um very well done uh i love the 
I love your passion for your sport, firstly, and uh, and your passion for uh, and your love for uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, the way you spoke, the hard work. Um, I like that you have covered a lot of things in the speech, like uh, who was your coach and why you like the sport. That that's uh, really um, good, and you did a good job. Proud of you. Keep it up, Ronil. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Um, now I would like to invite Jinne. Um, Jinne, are you there? I can see you. Your name. Is... Yes. Show me a thumbs up. Are you ready? Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Just one minute. Okay. Yes. You can start now. Good morning, teachers and all my friends. Today I am going to talk about my favorite sport. My favorite sport is football. Foot. This sport is very famous all over the world. Its another name is soccer also. It is an outdoor game which i can play with my friends and enjoy football is played in a rectangular field with goal post at at each end football is played between two teams each team has 11 players game game is 9 game would be 90 minutes team which makes maximum goal wins fifa world cup is popular event of football after 4 years I love football because it makes me strong and refreshes my mind. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jane. I would like to invite Anvesha, ma'am. Hello. Yes. Um. Jinai, uh, I'm so glad that you gave this speech very smoothly. Yes, I can see that you were a little nervous, but it's absolutely fine because I know that you are a little shy even in the class also. But you have ex exceeded my expectations, and uh, no grammatical errors, and at the same time. Um, you have given a detailed description about how football is played so uh, very well done very happy with your performance my best wishes are there with you so keep it up are you happy jina like feeling a little relieved yes <laughs> yes great job very nice thank you thank thank you jina thank you thank you so much um the next student i would like to invite is giridhar Can you hear me? Show me a thumbs up. All good. Are you yes, ready? Yes, ma'am. Give me one minute, okay? Straight. Yes, please. Hello, everybody. My name is Giridhar, and I study in class five. Today, I am going to give a short speech on my favorite sport, cricket. Initially, it was my father's favorite sport, but then when he taught me, it became mine as well. I started learning cricket from the age of 4 seeing my interest in this game my father my parents put me in my school's cricket coaching when i used to play with my father i like i like to swing the bat for sixes and fours which gave me immense satisfaction i i also cricket is a game which consists of two teams each with 11 players The team which scores the maximum number of runs is the winner of the game. I like I like this game because when I hear the crowd cheering when a batsman hits a four or a six, I I enjoy it. 
and also when a fielder takes a catch of a batsman and makes him out i like i like batting because i can swing the bat for sixes and fours i also like bowling because i can manipulate the bat ball in different ways so that the batsman gets cramped for room thank you thank you so much giridhar you spoke so well and uh, also you you have a lot in, lot of in depth knowledge about the game so excellent thank you so much well done um next i would like to invite shalvi yes ma'am yes i'm here are you ready yes ma'am i'm ready okay just give me a minute huh? one minute okay ma'am yes please start hi everyone my name is shalvi vinod muru and i am in 9th standard and today is my today i'm going to speech on a topic which if i were a principal for a day of my school so first i want to introduce the that principal so the principal is most important person of school it handles every movement every management of school so the the principal has the important role of in school so first thing i want to change about my school or of my school is about a subject management you know if i always think that if a if a teacher can only teach one subject so why the why the every students can learn have to learn that every subject so first i want to change that that management or that rule of school so i want to give freedom to students to choosing their own favorite subject in which or in what they want to make their career or they want to be someone so and the second is i want to encourage the students if if they they wants to give in a art field if, and it's my it's my own experience that i i like to i like to do art and i i like to do paintings i like to play but my in my school there is no no playing session there is no art session so i want to give that every student their own favorite art and art timing to do i am not against the subjects but i just want to give students their own freedom to encourage themselves from a good artist or some that their idols which they want to be so that was there and the second is i want to change the rules of cleaning because my school is and my school is in the middle of sabji sabji market so there is a uh, some cleans issue so i want to change that clean issue so that is it thank you ma'am thank you shalvi i would like to invite uh, and ma'am hello hello everyone wow shalvi that was really nice i really enjoyed your speech it was really nice to see how you spoke from your heart expressing all your you, feelings yeah mm -hmm. you did very well thank you that and is my feeling every student wants to be a principal of their school to don't have to you know that torture of the school <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would love to be a student where you are the principal. <laughs> Good, that was, that was very well expressed, shall we? All the best, and and Thank you, all the kids who have done so, so far, you all done so well, and all the best to rest of the participants. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, next, I would like to invite Anika Pandey. Can you hear me, Anika? All good. Yes. Just yes, give me a minute, okay? When I tell you, please start speaking. Thank you. Yes, please start. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Anika Pandey, and today I would like to share with you what will I do if I become a principal for a day. Firstly, I would like to get 
all the teachers their favorite student and keep them in a classroom and ask the other students why aren't they their favorite teacher's pet i'll make the class i'll make the teachers be with be in the class without their favorite ones and take the class i'll make the school canteen serve very healthy foods and every student should get a fruit at 12 noon every day i would love to make 3 days in a week with no bag day and one day full pt day i would i would like i i i i'm sure you would like me to be your principal for a day thank you thank you anika i would like to invite jyoti ma yes so uh, anika done a good job congratulations and as you know you can speak very very well keep it up you could be a good orator inspire and impress others all right all the best thank you thank you, you ma'am yeah thank you thank you so much well yes yeah. um next i would like to invite dipali sharma okay okay uh, anika rajput can you hear me hello um okay so uh yes dipali you're here right i can't hear you i can't hear you can you speak a little louder yes ma yes i no, can wonderful you're ready okay so i'm just uh yeah just give me a moment okay please start good good afternoon all of you i am the pali sharma and my topic of the speech is one day as a principal of the school one day as a principal of the school i would do as i can do for the students mental health moral health and the physical developments of the students i would bring some certain changes in the healthy atmosphere at the school i looks for the sanitation and the insults of the regulation and the popularity of the school for the mental development of the school of the students i would try to improve the instructions and the conditions of the school on the physical side i would make a games compulsory for all the students i would impress upon them on the necessity of the physical training of the healthy and efficiency at the work i shall provide proper facilities to the students as well as the teachers the library will be well occupied there will be a swimming pool gym and the sports room etc in the school extra classes will be arranged for weak students at also at sunday for 2 hours thus i will get an opportunity to become the principal of my school at one day then i will present all these and the other reforms to make my school as a ideal institute letter and spirit thank you thank you so much dipali that was a, a good list of changes that you would like to make in your school and it's wonderful to hear that thank you for sharing and thank you for speaking so well wonderful um anika anika rajput can you hear me yes ma'am yes 
Beautiful. That's so nice to see you. Thank you, ma'am. Are you ready to speak? Yes, ma'am. Wonderful, wonderful. Just give me a minute, okay? Please start. You can start speaking now. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. My name is Anika Rajput. I am six years old. I study in class first week. I say a new poem out. The, the poem name is Out in the Garden. Out in the Garden. Each fine day with my ball, I like to play. I bounce my ball, I bounce my ball, I bounce my ball. On each fine day, out in the garden, each fine day with my doll, I like to play. I rock my doll, I rock my doll. I rock my dog on each fine day out in the garden. Each fine day with my kite, I like to play. I fly it high, I fly it high, I fly it high. On each fine day out in the garden. Each fine day with my cycle, I like. I ride my cycle, I ride my cycle, I ride my cycle on each fine day. Now my next poem is Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, turn around. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, touch the ground. Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, polish your shoes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, off to school. Thank you. Thank you. That was such a wonderful performance. I would like to invite Mananda Ma. She's yeah. <laughs> Anika Rajput, you are a rock star. So uh, it was such a lovely performance. I couldn't even blink my eyes for a while, Anika. <laughs> you were superb. And for every single word, you had an action. Even polishing the shoes, no? She just um, uh, slowly rubbed the shoes, the, the foot of the teddy bear she was holding. That was so, so nice. Amazing. Flying a kite, riding a cycle. Every word, you did an action and that was amazing. So I would like to give her a rocket clap as she's a rock star of uh, our session today. So uh, I request all of you to please join your hands and give her a rocket clap. She's very, very young, very small, and such a wonderful performance she gave today. Uh, okay. I hope uh, everyone knows how to do a rocket clap. Uh, can we encourage her? Yes. Yes. Everyone, shall we start? Yeah. Zoo, 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 zoo up and a clap, 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 clap. That was super amazing, Anika. Thank you so much. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much, Manandar Ma'am. And thank you, Anika. Wonderful once again. Thanks. Okay. Now, um, we are... Uh, done with the participants that were with us live. There are a few uh, recordings that we have from uh, the other students and uh, we are going to play those. So I'll just start sharing. Excuse this. me. Oh, I, think, uh, I think there are some more uh, participants there. Uh, yeah, Arav is there. Okay. Um, Okay, Arnav, let's start with you. Good morning. Good. One second. Good one second. I don't, one, one second. I don't start. Yes, please start now. Good afternoon. I am Arnav and I am 10 years old. I am a student of grade six. Today, I will be delivering a speech on my favorite sport. There are lots of sports in the world. But my favorite sport is cricket. Cricket is a fun game to play. Cricket is played, 
played with two teams. Each team contains 11 players. The team who bats first gives a target and the second team has to break it. It is a game where a lot of hard work is required. I really like to watch cricket too. It is an unpredictable game and anything can happen anytime in it. It is a fun to watch it with family or friends, especially the little fights I have with my sister about which team is better. At last, cricket is my favorite game and will for be life. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you so much, Arna. I would like to invite Jyoti Ma. Ma'am, you're on mute. Sorry. Yes, Arna, congratulations for being there and for participating at mm -hmm. my, you know, last minute, you know, ushering you. All right, but you've done a good job and you can express very well about the about the game. You know, you went in details, which I also had, had not known. I just watch it, just watch it. That's it. But anyway, good. Are you going to be a cricketer in the future? Maybe a backup skill you can always have. I think you know. So. All right. All the best and see you soon in the class. Thank you. Good job, Arna. Bye bye. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Yes, Anvi. My turn is left. Okay, Anvi. Next is you. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's start. Hello, One second, okay. 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 Okay, start now. Hello, everyone. My name is Anvi Prashandu Thane. I study in class four. My today's topic is my favorite game. And my favorite game is swimming. I love swimming very much. It is very good exercise. Using arms and legs movement in the water, we learn swimming. It is a trick technique to float on water. Swimming is very useful. It helps us to build strong and healthy body and it increase our blood circulation. In many big com competitions, swimming is included, such as Olympics. In holidays, I regularly practice my swimming in, with my father. In the summer, I specially learn underwater swimming. Mm. Swimming increases my strength. It increases my patience and concentration also. And I make my many friends. I learn backward swimming also. I jump in different ways. I, I enjoy very much with my friends. Thank you. Thank you, Anvi. Thank you so much for speaking so wonderfully and sharing about your favorite uh, sport, that's swimming. And uh, thank you for telling us the secret to your <laughs> good health. Okay, thank you. Mom? Well, thank you. Yes, Kushal? Mom, I should still tell, Mom. Sorry? I should still tell. Okay, yes, yes. Are you ready? Yes, Mom. Okay, wonderful. Just give me a minute, okay? I'll tell you, then you start speaking, okay? Okay, ma'am. Huh? Please start. I'll wait a minute. Ma'am, ma something is happening. Okay. Okay, we can see you now. All good. You can start. Ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma good morning, everyone. My name is Kushal. I am studying the class, class B session. 
Today I am telling about my favorite sport, table tennis. My father built a table tennis court. We will play with a small racket and a small ball. Our coach is a national medalist whose name is Saira. The other name of the table tennis is ping pong. The, the game has 11 points. We can play doubles and singles. I mostly like Saira Spencer because I can take many points with that sir. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Pushal, um, okay. Um, Pushal, we can't see you. Okay. Ma'am, I shot yes. a video already. Okay, no, uh, I mean, during your performance, we couldn't see your face. We have to face like this. Can you repeat it again? Yes, ma'am. Okay, one second. Now start. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kushal. I'm studying third for class B session. Today, I'm telling about my favorite sport, table tennis. My father built a table tennis court. We'll play with a small racket and a small ball. Our coach is a national medalist whose name is Saira. The other name of table tennis is ping pong. We play, the game has 11 points. We can play doubles and singles. It mostly, I mostly like the size pin serve because I can take many points with that serve. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Kushal. Thank you so much for telling us about your favorite game twice. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, well done and keep uh, speaking this way and writing so wonderfully. Um, now, I'm going to share the recordings with us. We are going to watch a few recordings from the students. And uh, I hope you all can see my screen. Uh, we'll start with the first uh, student that's um, Abhishta. Good morning, everyone. My name is Abhishta Shiraksha Yes from class 60D section, DAV Public School, Mysuru. Today, I'm going to tell about sports. Sports is very important in our day-to-day -day life. It helps to improve our health. It keeps us fit and active. It makes a man moral human being because it teaches many good qualities like leadership, discipline, teamwork, and planning. It is considered as an excellent stress booster. It also teaches the value of time and help an individual to boost his, quality, uh, boost his efficiency of work. All national and international games played throughout the world are source of entertainment and excitement. Sports is a critical practice. All of us have engaged in sports in one way or another. Kids are encouraged to involve themselves in sports. Basically, there are two types of sports, indoor and outdoor sports. Example for indoor sports are chess, carom, badminton, table tennis, etc. Example for outdoor sports are cricket, football, baseball, rugby, etc. A person who engages sports regularly, regularly maintains a better physical shape, enthusiasm, and energy level. One learns spirit of winning in life. When one wants to win, he goes ahead in life. Thank you, one and all. Thank you so much, Abhishta, for uh, sharing your wonderful speech with us. Um, now, I would like to share uh, Pranit, uh, Pranit's uh, recording.
everyone. Everyone have different, different ambitions, but my ambition is to become a cricketer. And I love the sport of cricket. I play cricket with my mother, father, and friends. And I, my favorite cricketers are Virat Kohli, Kel Rahul, Shikatila. I always watch cricket on TV. No matter it's T20, IPL, Test, or ODI. But I watch every single match. Whenever someone from a, a team hit a century, then I want to hit one two one day. And um, I I go to cricket academy every weekend to learn from my coach. And one day you all will cheer for me when I hit a six and it will be a chaka. Thank you. I would like to invite Vasudha ma'am. Yeah, I mean, Pranit's performance in the end really makes me smile and he just actually spoke his heart out. Uh, last week I shared this, uh, I mean, I think this is an old recording, actually last to last week I had asked his mother, he's an international student, so due to the clash of time he's not able to attend this event. She was very, uh, she showed interest and she really wanted you know, him to speak. So I gave her an idea, ma'am, you could write on to make a recording and let him speak because he is really, really fond of cricket. I think it was just, uh, you know, an extempore, uh, you know, attempt, I would say, uh, not it, because it doesn't look like he has learned, he has prepared lines and he's speaking. You might, you might have noticed he even took a pause and, you know, many times he had to, you know, just think of some, you know, some sentences to speak. Uh, but I am really happy with the way he has shared. Basically, spoke his heart out, and in the end, he and he says that I wish you know you all would share for me once that he be a chakka. <laughs> so yes, really happy for him. Yes, thank you, Vasudama. He sounds very passionate. So thank you. Um, last uh, recording of the eve of the afternoon, sorry, um, is Arnav. So, hello guys. Today we are going to talk about Holi. Holi, Holi is one of the widely celebrated Hindu festival of year, signifying joy and togetherness. Holi falls in the Hindu calendar month of March, which is the peak of the spring season in India. Holi is celebrated for five days and the fifth day is considered as Ranga Panchami. Celebration of Holi is also found in various religious texts and there are many stories revolving around the festival. By religious text, the term was made to burn Prahala, the son of demon by his sister Holika. Some religious texts also describe that festival of Holi was started by Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan. One night before Holi, there is a ritual called Holi Kadan, which is performed by burning large piles of food and dry leaves etc. On Holi, people eat delicious food like halwa and drink thandai along with other food items. And that's all for today. And my teacher, Ms. Christina, taught me how to make a documentary. Thank you. Okay, again, wonderful. Thank you so much, Arnav, for sharing your uh, thoughts and all about Holi with us. A lot we didn't, I didn't know, especially. Um, so great, everyone, all the students here, I just want to give you a big, big congratulations for performing so well. Uh, you know, expressing your thoughts, uh, talking about your feelings and uh, everything surrounding the topics that were there for this week. So well done, all of you. And uh, give yourself a clap.
Which one? The rainbow one? Shall we do the rainbow one? Yes? Show me a thumbs up if the rainbow one you're ready. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, that's amazing. Amazing. Okay. So, um, great, great. So, show me a thumbs up if you're really happy with your performance today and you're happy for your friends as well who did really well okay great great okay um i would like to now uh give this uh space to any of the parents if they want to share anything and um they can come forward and say i mean they want to share something Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Anvi. My mom is not at home. Okay, Anvi, no problem. Thank you. Can I leave? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, I just want to say all your performances are are uh, going to be uh, put on YouTube and the links are going to be shared with you. And the students and the children who have the maximum views are, you know, going to get something, right? We'll see what that is. But uh, please share your videos and about Spotlight with your friends and family. Yes? And tell them how much you enjoyed the show and how much you enjoyed performing here. Yes. Uh, um, I think Alok's uh, mother is there. And she was just... Yes, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yes, ma'am. We can hear you now. Would you like to say something, ma'am? Share something with us, your thoughts, anything? Nothing, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think Alok just went and invited her, huh? Uh, ma'am, actually, you were requested to say a few words on Alok's performance today. Would you like to say something on Alok's performance? Hello? Oh. Ma'am, you can share if you're feeling really happy about the way he performed. Ma'am. Uh, yes. So, ma'am, you can use your language. I, I, like, actually, she's not much conversant in English. Ma'am, you can uh, use any other language if you wish to. Okay. Okay. Nothing in this um, performance is very good. And, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for being there with us. Uh, was thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, your smile says it all. Thank you so much. <laughs> I agree. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Uh, you said you you are gonna post the performances on YouTube. So I I have a I have my channel. I have my own channel on YouTube. So will you check that? <laughs> yes, sure, sure. You can share it with us. That's wonderful to hear. I can I share the link on chat box now? Yes, yes, you can do that. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Shalvi, and you can share Thank about you, on your YouTube channel as well. And let okay, me know Thank you. how wonderful you did today. Okay. okay. Thank you. So, um, with this, we come to the end of uh, another Spotlight event, another amazing week of performances and uh, great topics, great thoughts and uh, views that our students shared so clearly and so passionately and so confidently. And we are all so proud of you. Please continue learning English and reading and uh, speaking. 
so passionately. Thank you, and I wish you all a great weekend. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.